Hey hello everybody and welcome to a brand new video. Now a lot of you may be familiar with my one hour flipping challenge. Uh, today I thought I would mix it up and do a one hour money making challenge. So I might do some flipping, why not, but this will include buying items from shops, uh, maybe doing some barrows, um, and do some set combinations, maybe I'll go combine some malediction wards. Anything I can think of that will make me money is fair game and we're going to be starting with 40 mil today and uh, one hour and a clock. Let's get started. So I always like to have one thing ready when I start and the first thing that I've noticed is that uh, the Tanzanite Fang can be combined into the Toxic Blowpipe very easily and it looks like it's selling for about 2750 and um, we can buy it for about 2700 so that's a 50k combination. Uh, well it's not really a combination but it's a crafting. Uh, now I'm using G Tracker to find the prices here. They are a sponsor of mine so go check them out. They do have a couple useful tools for finding uh, kind of weird flips like this, or if you want to call them flips or money makers, whatever. Um, now I want to buy the Fang quick, so we're going to try buying it for, uh, it says 26.55 there, I don't think that's right, let's try 27.01. I'm kind of looking to insta buy it, because uh, I'm not sure if that price is going to stay up, and the limit for this is 5, nope, didn't buy for 2700, so yeah, that price is pretty outdated. 27.15. And okay, we insta bought those. Perfect. Uh, so now what we're going to be doing is just withdrawing a chisel from the bank and deposit the Tanzanite fangs and wherever they went. And all you got to do is use the chisel on there and make the blowpipes. Really quick to do. Three, four, five. Also, you theoretically get a lot of crafting experience per hour. <laughs> and now we're going to go ahead and sell off the toxic blowpipes. And let's look on G Tracker here. Uh, 2771, let's try for 2751, just for now. So that's 13755, and we bought them all for 13577, which is a nice, easy 200k flip, uh, if we actually do sell it for that price anyway. Okay, another nice, quick uh, kind of flip to do is uh, turning willow seeds into willow saplings. Uh, now, it looks like it has about a 740 GP margin on. Uh, which is okay. Um, the uh, toxic blowpipes are coming through pretty quick. They're almost all the way done. Now I'll go buy those because they will be pretty quick to turn and the limit here is uh, 200 so it's not a huge investment anyway. It's only 2 mil and we could get about 140k back which is pretty good. Alright we got another uh, tree combination we're going to be doing here which is the papaya tree seed. Uh, another pretty cheap one here. That's a 900 GP margin on it so about 180k We'll make off this uh, which I've gotten better before definitely but still pretty good and we'll go down to 197 yeah sure that's fine and none of the seeds have come through yet but they are pretty quick to buy look nine already for that okay so another easy flip is the Verox uh, armor set combination so what we're gonna be doing here is buying all the pieces and then combining it back into its set uh, I think this is the last flip I'm going to leave in and then go out and do a couple other methods don't, don't directly involve the grand exchange um, but yeah, so what we're going to do is just look at all the prices here on GE Tracker and put an offer in that seems reasonable and then combine them all into sets and sell them back on the Grand Exchange. Okay, so we pretty much put all the pieces in. The last one is the Verox Helm, uh, which we're going to be putting in for about uh, 295 296 how about. We're not trying to get the best price because we are trying to buy it uh, pretty soon and a lot of our offers have actually come through. Now we've got five of the plate skirts, three or two of the flails, and those need to come through. But all of the seeds came through uh, for the papaya tree, and a lot of the willow seeds come through. Uh, so we'll go ahead and combine those now, and we're going to pull this out because that all sold as well. So we've got another 13 mil to work with here. Uh, but yeah, we'll go ahead and combine at least all of the ones so I can show you now. So first off, we have to combine the seeds like this. It takes a little while, but once I'm done, I'm going to be using the... Uh, humidify spell to water them which only take a couple seconds uh, which will be pretty nice because otherwise you gotta water them with a watering can which is a bit of a pain in the ass but still doable but we're going for the quickest possible time here so we're going to use the humidify spell for sure okay so we're just finishing up the seeds here and i just realized i will need to switch spell books quickly which is okay it won't take too long uh, but that only took like three four minutes to combine all of the seeds into the pots uh, so not too bad. Okay, so we just went to somebody's house quickly here, and we're going to venerate in the altar to go to Lunars. There we go, and then we're going to use the Ring of Wealth to teleport back to the Grand Exchange, because we have no teleports anymore. 
Uh, but that's okay, we shouldn't really need them for the rest of the challenge, but if not, we can always switch back, it's not too big a deal. Okay, so now we're ready to uh, humidify our plants. Uh, so the papaya seedlings have all been combined, now it's really easy. All we're going to do is cast humidify. It humidifies every single one of them. Perfect. And then you put it back in the bank and repeat. This should only take uh, a minute at most. You want to optimize the amount of space in your inventory. Uh, unfortunately right now I don't have the steam battle staff and um, I have to keep my cash with me or else I'm going to get confused. So you could shave off two inventory slots from this. Okay, that should be the last inventory. Uh, so now all the pie saplings have been watered. Now we just have to wait for them to grow, which will take two or three minutes just in the bank. And now we have a quick look at the grand exchange here. Uh, looks like almost all the willow seeds have come through, 46 more, and that's pretty much all of them. Now I'm just going to quickly readjust the helm in the uh, brassard, brassard, sorry, and then we'll go ahead and combine the seeds. Okay, we're just finishing up adding the seeds to the plants, um, to the planter pot, I should say. And then we're going to go ahead and humidify these ones as well. Uh, just go withdraw the runes, and it should only take another minute to humidify. Okay, there we go. We uh, cast humidify on all of them. Uh, so we'll just deposit those into the bank. Now, if we have a look at the willow seeds, they're still unwatered. But if we look at the papaya saplings, they're saplings. So that means they're done, and we can go ahead and sell them off. Uh, we'll just go recheck the price here. Papaya, sapling, and we're selling them for eleven nine nine four, and we bought the seeds for eleven eleven k, pretty much. So we're making a nine hundred GP profit on each one of these, and we're gonna sell them for eleven nine nine three, and hopefully these will sell off relatively quickly. Eleven nine nine three. And that will be about a 180k profit just on that, which I think is pretty decent. Okay, so we're just going to wait around here until the other saplings are turned, or at least the uh, watered versions turn into the sapling. So now I'm going to go ahead and check a couple potion decants. Now we're looking for cheap potions because I want some money left uh, for the next method I'm going to do, uh, which will require a good amount of money. Uh, so 293, and we'll hopefully buy them for... Uh, 279 and energy potion 4, 430 times 0.75 is 322 minus 293 would be a 60k profit or 279 for about a 80k profit or something like that. I'm just going to go ahead and buy it for this price just because I want to be pretty time efficient here. Am I going to insta buy him? Not quite. So in that case I'm going to go ahead and redo the offer. Okay, so that will be an 80k profit once we get it. Now let's go ahead and check our bank here. And it looks like the perfect the willow saplings have turned. Uh, it kind of sounds like I'm talking about a zombie or something. But now we'll go ahead and look at the willow sapling. And uh, we'll sell these off for 10,595. So it's about a 140k profit there. 10,595. Looks good. And there we go. We got everything set. So now the next method I'm going to be doing is actually buying some items from a shop. Now this one is one of my favorite ones. It's buying from the stonemason shop in Keldegrim. So we're going to have to go deposit some of our items here that we don't need. Okay, we'll make sure we got the ring of wealth on us. Yeah, so what you need for this is only the giant dwarf quest completed. And um, you can actually travel there just through this trapdoor here, which is nice. Okay, so here we are. So we're in Keldegrim. Now from here, you have to go over to the west side of the city, kind of to the complete opposite side. And uh, I don't think we want in here. We're just going to go around it. So what the stone mission shop has is higher level construction items. Now what you're going to be looking for is the gold leaf. Well, really any of these three, but probably not the magic stone right now because that's too expensive. Uh, we can see the gold leaf. Sells for routinely 4k more than it does in the shop. Uh, the marble block looks like it's almost 7k more. So it's also worth checking what the ratio is to see which one's actually more efficient. If you had infinite money, of course, you'd go for it's just the best margin, but that rarely is the case. <laughs> uh, so we're going to go ahead and just check the items on GE Tracker uh, while I run there. Okay, so we got the gold leaf open here. So this one sells for 130 in the shop. And it looks like we could sell it for about 136, uh, which is really nice. The marble block uh, sells for 220 or 325, and could sell for 334. Now the gold leaf is overall just better right now. The only w reason I would do both is because it would increase the rate that they're going to sell at. 
Uh, so I'll consider it. Let's go ahead and jump in here. It's right here, just south of the bank. So it's even close to a bank, which is nice. So what you have to do, trade them, uh, buy a one of each, because once you go past that, it becomes too expensive. And then you're going to hop worlds and then repeat. So it's a lot of world hopping, but it's really not too bad. Every four or five worlds, you kind of have to stop for a second and make sure that your client can catch up. Otherwise, it'll start booting you out of the game, which is pretty annoying. I think in this case, I'm going to be buying both because I think I don't have enough time to just stay here that long. But if you imagine each one is a 7k profit, that is a almost a 15k profit per world. And I'm hopping through these worlds really quick here. Okay, so I noticed here in my sidebar that you can actually see here that all of the Varox armor pieces came through. It also appeared in my chat. Uh, I don't know where it went. But anyway, they're done. Uh, so we're going to take this opportunity to let our world hopping cool down a little bit. And we'll go back to the Grand Exchange and uh, readjust those offers since they're through. And we can go ahead and combine all of them. Okay, so we can go ahead and collect everything here. Uh, so we have five of each armor piece. I could have maybe gone for more, but I don't actually know how long it's going to take to come through. Why do we have 10 Vrox Helms? Oh my, that's no good. Okay, so it looks like I'm going to be going for 10 now, because I already bought 10 of the other piece. Uh, my bad, so we'll go ahead and, well, we instant bought 10 Vrox Brassards. That kind of simplifies things. And we'll go ahead and buy another 5 of the Plate Bodies, or Plate Skirts, sorry. Uh, which we did instant buy earlier. Not this time, though. And 5 more of the Flails. Jeez, okay, there we go. Well, that brings us down a little bit more money, which is fine. Uh, so for now, we'll go ahead and just combine the five uh, sets right here. And combine the five and start selling those off at least. And we're going to be selling them for... Unfortunately, they're down to about 1820, so we'll sell those off. Uh, hopefully, we could have sold them for more, but... Well, let's try 1830 for now, because uh, otherwise it's a pretty low margin, which kind of sucks. Okay guys, that's pretty much all our money invested here. We're going to buy one more gold leaf, one more marble block, and uh, we don't have enough of this, do we? No. Uh, we'll leave that money just in case we need it to price check something. And there we go, we'll head back to the Grand Exchange now and readjust our offers and see what has come through and what has not. Uh, so now for our Grand Exchange, we have the gold leaves already sold. I mean, 3k on the gold leaves isn't awful, but uh, still, it could have been better. Uh, we have the marble blocks slowly coming through uh, for a 5k profit. So we'll go ahead and withdraw the rest of our blocks and leaves. Uh, so the gold leaf I'm going to check again just for the sake of hoping the price has changed. Uh, 134, I guess that is an extra k actually, so that's worth checking. Alright, so we're going to get about 100k off of that once that's sold, which is nice. Uh, the marble block, I don't think there's any point of rechecking. It's either gone down, if anything. 32, 9, 9, 9, 9. This is pretty much 330. Perfect. And we have all the plate skirts coming through, and four of the five flails. And unfortunately, none of the sets have actually sold off. So we'll have to go readjust that. Okay, we just bought the last flail outright, so we can go ahead and start selling them. Uh, sets. And we'll actually need to bank this last one. They all have to be noted or unnoted. Uh, so we get a sets and Varrock. Now we have 10 Varrock sets and we've got 10 minutes left. So I think it's important to actually price check this and we'll sell it off with it. So for 18.24 we can sell them for. So we'll sell these back for 18.23999. That's pretty much what we had them with at. So that's, uh, well, let's see what the profit is on that. Okay, so we're looking at about 220k on those. A little better than I thought they were going to be, but still not as good as these flips normally are. So now we have 10 minutes left. I think I'm just going to do uh, maybe two barrows runs and then call it a day. Okay, so we're just finishing up the first run here. It's at 4 minutes 50 seconds. Now I would have enough to finish the next run, but I ran out of darts in my stupid blowpipe. Uh, so I'll go see if I can actually redo that in time. 10 seconds left. We didn't quite get it, unfortunately, but we're pretty close. And actually a bunch of things sold off right before the finish, which is pretty nice. Uh, so we'll just finish up this barrows run and then we'll go back and check on the Grand Exchange. Okay, so our final Barrow's Chest, is it going to be an item that would be amazing? Oh my god, we got a Varax Brassard. Not very valuable, but it's actually a lot of runes too, so that's pretty good. And now we'll head back to the Grand Exchange. It's still an item, uh, which is nice. Not a valuable one though. Okay, so we're back at the Grand Exchange, and that was actually a lot closer to selling everything off than I thought it would be. So we'll go ahead and start pulling out these offers here. 
Uh, magic stone sold for <laughs> 3k profit. Not great there. All the marble blocks sold for a 5k profit, which is pretty nice. The uh, gold leaves all sold for a 4k profit. Um, so we'll go ahead and start just dumping our bearers rewards in here, which was actually extremely good for two runs. Uh, the runes alone were pretty good. And drop those in. And the Brassard for uh, 193k, sure. 195 plus 117 plus 37k just for two runs is pretty nice. That's uh, about uh, 320k or something like that. Okay, so we'll come back when all this stuff has sold off. Probably just be another 5 or 10 minutes. And we'll go look at how much money we ended up making. Alright guys, so everything is sold off. Um, we had to readjust the papaya saplings, but it wasn't too bad. So let's go ahead and claim all of the offers and see how much money we made in one hour. Claim that. Claim these guys here. And of course the Varrock armor sets. Bring us up to 41 mil. Uh, so we did make at least 1 mil. Let's go have a look. Okay, looks like we made 1.3 mil in an hour. Uh, not bad for a first attempt. I know I can do better than this. Uh, we didn't get too lucky on the armor set combinations. Plus, I fucked up a little bit. So I think I'm going to try this again sometime. My ultimate goal is to try to make 10 mil in one hour. Not sure if that's going to be possible. I think if I have enough money, it'll be possible. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, uh, don't forget to toss the video a like. And I will see you guys in the next episode.